Okay, uh, in this video, we are going to introduce uh, complex polynomials. This is uh, uh, as opposed to uh, real polynomials. Um, in fact, for real polynomials, the title is usually just polynomials. Um, we have a series of videos on just polynomials or real polynomials that we advise that you have gone through those before you continue with the complex polynomials. <clears throat> so in the case of complex polynomials, we have got uh, P of Z, um, which is equal to a sum of powers of Z like this, where these powers are all non-negative integers, of course, Z is the complex variable x plus i y so um so that means if uh, y is equal to zero here um, then z is just equal to x so p of z is just going to be p of x so for every z we're just going to plug in x so that is the real uh, polynomial case which we have looked at before and in that case the coefficients the a n's are real numbers okay in the case of complex polynomials these are complex numbers okay so if uh, this is the case then we are back to uh, P of X, which is uh, a, a real polynomial. Right now, um, so with the um, um, complex polynomials, we're just going to note that uh, the results and procedures that we established. Um, for so for complex polynomials the result and procedures that uh, we established for real polynomials uh, still holds so we are going to list them here in a moment so procedures um, established for p of x um, they are going to still uh, hold um, um, still hold um, so for P of Z um, what are we talking about so the <clears throat> re procedures um, we are talking um, synthetic division for instance so that is still going to be applicable with the complex polynomials uh, long division we can still do the process is going to be still exactly the same as we did for uh, real polynomials uh, factors and uh, roots are still going to be defined exactly the same way um, the remainder theorem for instance will still hold for complex polynomials and then the rational uh, root theorem is still going to hold as well okay so basically all those techniques that we learned um, under real polynomials are still going to um, hold um, it's just going to be one addition or additional uh, result um, which we are going to state here so we uh, state one additional result um, so what uh, this result says is that um, if 
all the coefficients uh, of our complex polynomial uh, if all the coefficients of p of z are real um, then the roots uh, can only be real then the roots of p of z are real um, if they are not real they can only be complex conjugate pairs okay so then the roots are either real or complex uh, conjugate pairs so that is the only um, result uh, additional to what we learned under real polynomials that we are going to um, add here um, so in the next set of videos we're going to start looking at um, um, complex polynomial equations and how to solve them um, so um, for example we are going to solve things like 2z minus 4i plus 3 equal to 0 uh, or which is linear or quadratic uh, equations uh, minus 2z plus 2 equal to 0 or um, even fourth uh, or higher order or higher degree equations uh, minus z squared uh, plus 2 equal to 0. So we're going to start looking at those in the next video. Okay.